All right, just as usual, I'm looking sexy, and stiff. Today it's gonna go from Shilin to Zhonghe by bike, and I'm gonna show you the way and what's along the way. So I left home at 2.25 and it's now 2.27, so pretty much right across from the street where I'm living here at the local library, the Li Keyong Library. And right across from here is actually the Chunka Chek Memorial Hall. We're gonna check that out real quick as well, right there. Before we get to the Chankertsek residency in Shilin, we first have to pass these uh, Balongong demonstrators who have been here for years now. I'm living close by, so I see them every day. And right in front, you see already some mainland Chinese travelers here and a very, a very eager preacher of the Falongong. Here we got them, mainland Chinese invaders. Okay, and here we are now at the Minchuan University, which is pretty much just across the Shilin night market, which you can't really see, but it's behind the petrol station there. Uh, but then if you look up there, I put a link where I have a separate video for that. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so only seven minutes from our last destination. We are here at the University and Shulin Market. Seven minutes. And just another minute, we are at the Jiantan Station, which is pretty much the main uh, station for the Shulin Night Market. And the new landmark building right there with the big ball. And here we go, just another two minutes down Zhongshan Beilu. And we got the Fujang Temple right, uh, right there and the Grand Palace Hotel up there. And along there is a great hiking trail. And that video you can click there. Let's move on. So just another 30 seconds or so down the road we have the Jiantan Overseas Activity Center, which the turn is just across the Grand Hotel again. Okay, now we're gonna go to cross the uh, Danshui River. No, it's actually the Jilong River, which goes into the Danshui River. So there you have the 101 and we are right on the um, in the middle of the Keelong River which starts in Keelong and goes all the way into the Danshui River here in uh, Sulin Hogang which would be this direction okay but we're gonna go further that direction and, and just as you get off the bridge you bump into this old-style police station. Pretty interesting, with a whole bunch of motorbikes in front of it. Just, and just across the street from the police station, you have the uh, Modern Arts Museum and something real interesting. This old-style house is the Taiwan History House. I'll tell you more about that one as well. That's really interesting. Kind of cutesy. Right next to the Arts Museum, you have Jaken, the leftovers of the Taipei Flora Expo, which extends up to the other side of the street where the main park used to be, and where we have some sort of children action going on these days. Not sure what this is all about. 
I can tell you more about the Expo Park here in another video. Look down at the description. Just for curiosity's sake, I had to take a closer look at this activity thing here. Whoa! That really seems to be quite some action. And then just across the street you have Caves Books, which is the first address for forum books basically here. And, very interesting as well, what I just discovered right next door is an interesting shop with all kinds of segways or transportation robots as they call it. Interesting to check out as well. They are called Rider. Let's move on. And yet again, just seconds away, is one of uh, Taipei's most prestigious uh, universities, the Datong University, which belongs basically uh, to the Datong company, which you might uh, know from their electrical appliances and stuff. Curiously, right across from this university, there is Shuangcheng Jie, which is uh, called uh, the uh, combat zone among expats where you have all these fun pubs and stuff you know what I mean just next to that uh, seven down there to the right Just another minute down the road you have the Fushun Gongyuan, the Fushun uh, well, Plaza I would call it. Now this is interesting not just because it's uh, conveniently located and kind of neat, but also because uh, Mr. Brown's Coffee offers, oops, Mr. Brown's Coffee over there, yeah, uh, offers like free internet access here all over the square with I think eight lines or something. So. You're pretty sure to get a connection there. And yet, just another two minutes down the road, there is the famous Mackay Memorial Hospital right in the middle of town. This one is always uh, pretty much stuffed with patients because the quality is supposed to be very good. Half a minute further down the street, the Taiba, uh, Taipei Fubang Bank set up this sculpture here. Kind of interesting. Just to let you know. Keep on going. Then we have the Taipei Film House, Guangdian Taipei, or Taipei Guangdian. Spot as they call it in English. Very interesting for like cultural movies and stuff. So if you only want to go to the Taipei main station or the uh, main bus station, you simply take a right turn here and you're right there. This is Sumin Dadao here. And just across the street from Sumin Dadao and right in front of the main train station, there's the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Park. otherwise known as the father of the nation. So here I am with the father of the nation. Him holding the three principles of the people in his hand, which is the book people, I think students still learn in school here. Let's check out the park inside a real quick peek. 
Well, it really is a very small park only, but pretty nice. Old style, whatnot. So, if you you're heading for the main train station, definitely worth check out. We are at the crossroads here on the overpass at Zhongxiao and uh, Zhongshan Bay. What you see down up there is uh, the Mitsukoshi Tower, which used to be the tallest building in town before the 101 came in. Let me check out if we can. There you have it, right? Okay, let's go back. And then across the street, we have the uh, control unit. And then further down there, these uh, tall buildings, that's the National University uh, hospitals. The best hospitals uh, in all of Taiwan. And right in front of the hospital, and in probably just five minutes foot march away from the main station, is the Ministry of Consular Affairs and Foreign Affairs. At the crossing here, we take another turn to the right. To the left first you see the Chiang Kai Chek Memorial Hall, which we had been to before and you can see that in the description. Then across the street there's a national library and next to us is the infamous uh, Araba Peace Park. We're gonna see that from another angle as well. What you see down there is the presidential palace where for the first time a female president is sitting. We're gonna get closer in a second. So now we are in the 28th of February Peace Park. As I promised you a sneak peek and there's the peace bell basically. Okay, that's it, we're gonna move on. So here we have it, the presidential palace and me in front of it. And guess what? Across the street, if you can see that there, yeah, that building, that is the uh, Bank of Taiwan headquarters, where I actually in my student days taught German. And down this street is Chongqing Nanlu, which uh, used to be and sort of still is the book street here in Taipei. Okay, we're gonna check that out later, but you gotta get going to Zhonghe. So this would be the main entrance of the Bank of Taiwan, but what we're gonna do is sneak in from the side where I used to teach and check out if that part is still there. So this actually used to be the entrance for the foreign exchange, which is right across presidential palace. Okay, so the, there we go. This is the door where I usually went in. And then I went into that little door and there was a little room in the back. Okay, gone days. So now we're gonna head to Yonghe. So we're gonna take uh, the Chongqing Beilu and then the Zhonghe Lu, Yonghe Lu. And then we're gonna be there. Let's see what comes up on the way. Okay, we are now as close as you can get, unless it's open day. Hm. I believe her office is over there, but I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna go. On to prevent that people get suspicious of us. They are looking already. Okay, what's going on here? Alright. Let's hope we don't get in trouble here. So right next to the presidential palace and across the street from the best uh, female school, we have the Judicial Yuan. Which also includes the High Court of Taiwan, the Taiwan High Court, as you 
can read that on there and take a picture. So in case you happen to come out of these doors and walk down those steps, the likely you heard that you are in trouble is pretty big. And just a Jacob, the Ministry of Justice. All right, another maybe five minutes down the road, we reach the Zhongzheng Xiao, Zhongzheng Bridge, which uh, leads us to uh, Yonghe. And here's the Riverside Park already. I'm going to show you from the middle of the bridge, in the middle of the river there, of the uh, Danshui River.